Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos and I know you guys love them because the views keep coming up. I keep getting comments saying, can you do more? I'm really in need of a stretch. I haven't been doing my stretch and I'm not gonna lie to you and I'm sure many of you are in the same position. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through a 15 to 20 minute stretch of what I need to do, which will cross over to a lot of you guys. I don't wanna spend too much time talking here. I'm gonna get my clock started. I'm gonna talk you through some of the stretches. Again, I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna put some music on, let you guys kind of relax and go at your own pace for this. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, nice and simple. The first thing we're gonna do, start easy, bring one leg out to the side and kind of lift yourself up in here. As we go through where I feel the stretch in certain stretches, you might feel it in a different place. It's just gonna depend where's tight on you. There's no right, there's no wrong. Uh, just explore your body and find out where the tightness is for you and you can start to work on that area. For example, I know at the moment my calves are the tightest part of my body. As we go through this stretching routine, what I want you to do is just kind of relax and breathe out. When things are uncomfortable because the stretch is tight, we tighten up. That doesn't allow our muscles to kind of relax and get deeper into the stretch. Think about taking like a four second deep breath in, eight seconds out. That big exhale is when we release off the muscles, we relax a bit and it allows us to get a lot deeper into our stretches. Good, all we're gonna do from there is bring this back leg round to the side if we can and shoot ourselves down. Some of you might only be able to get here, that's fine. For those of you that can get your bum to the floor, brilliant. If you're getting cramping here, it's a good sign that your TFL muscles are quite tight. Again, I know that my calves are tight, so you might see on a lot of these stretches, I'm just gonna pull on my foot a little bit because that's my real kind of aggravated area at the moment. just lean into it a little more if you can. Spend another 30 seconds here. What you're gonna find out from these stretches is that I'm very much like you. In fact, a lot of you guys are probably gonna be more flexible than me. There's gonna be some things that you can get a lot further in. You're gonna, it's not gonna be like a nice yoga flow. I'm not that flexible. You're gonna hear me yelp and moan quite possibly here. But that's real world, I like that. Another 10 seconds. Okay, let's get into a slightly more painful stretch for me now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this, scoop myself round so I'm a little bit more square on, bring this foot round the side. I think this is called half saddle, I'm not quite sure. And I'm gonna come down this position here. When we do this later with both legs behind, it's probably the most uncomfortable stretch that, for me, especially in the top of the feet here. I actually find women find this a lot easier, or people that tend to wear elevated heel, because they're more used to being in that plantar flexion position where the toes are pointing down. And where this really hurts me is actually on the top of the foot and the shin, that pointing down of the toe. So if you're feeling that, that's perfectly normal. And with all these stretches, just go where it feels comfortable for you. Some of you will be laying back on the floor now. I'm not and I'm not gonna try that for a little bit of time yet, if at all. So I noticed then I was tightening up my quad, I could actually see it, so I just consciously thought about relaxing it and it takes the pressure off of the stretch quite a bit. Feel like you can go a little bit further. Oh, I might make it down. Yes. That is really tight now. Now I'm getting it in my hip flexor as well. Oh, try not to swear. Let's see if we can hold another 30 seconds here. Again, you don't have to be where I am. 
Ouch, Charlie. Fifteen more seconds to try and relax into it. Again, deep breaths in, big exhales. And slowly release yourself up. Oh, that hurt. Okay, those three stretches I believe it was that we just did, we're gonna do on the opposite side. Starting real simple. Back to this position here, one leg out on the side. Oh yeah, that's tight from a minute ago. And I'm gonna just lean up a little bit on this one. So we're on, we're on our, we're on our shin here. You can have bottom of your foot down, as mean the, the laces of your shoes you can have on the floor here, or you can have your feet, your toes bent back and be on the ball of your foot. It's entirely up to you. This should be feeling more in your adductors, the inside of your thigh muscle. If you start to lean over a little bit more, it will come a tiny bit more to hamstrings. Don't worry about that yet, because that's our next stretch anyway. Let's do another 30 seconds here. If you do enjoy these videos, guys, and you want to see more of them, do let me know in the comments, and I will do more. I'll do more upper body, more full body. I'll do some that are five minutes, some that are even longer if you want to. Um, again, let's change the exercise. Again, so we're just bringing this back leg round. It's not like a super professional yoga. I'm not, I'm not that flexible. Um, this is just the kind of stretches that I use to keep myself pain-free and be able to perform. And the majority, pain-free more than anything else. I have tendonitis in one of my knees and I have to do these type of things. Uh, I've got some new insoles at the moment and they've made my feet and my Achilles and my calves all move around a bit. So I'm getting a little bit of pain and I'm just trying to release that off. Again, that's why I'm pulling on the calf here. Again, just lean into it a little more before you can. I think what I might do as well is I might do a loaded stretching video where there's weights involved, because I personally think when you use weights, uh, much like Olympic lifters do, um, to kind of go into the bottom of movements, you actually get more of a stretch and you actually build strength in those extended ranges that you hadn't been to before. So for example, you could be doing a pancake stretch like this and there's almost like a weight on your back to help force you down. There's all kind of stuff you can do. Okay, from there, bring this leg round. We're going back into the, again, I think this is called a half saddle, but I'm not quite sure. And this is a lot tighter for me and I might even get cramp here in the bottom of my foot. Ah. This is what I mean about understanding your body. I, you can't see, but I'm getting cramp in the bottom of my foot and i am actually got my thumb in and I'm trigger pointing the arch of my foot at the same time as doing this just to hold off that cramp and I know that I'm gonna have to roll it on a ball or a barbell after. So feel free to adjust the stretches or put more emphasis where you need it or bring a bit of equipment involved if it's safe to do so and you need it. Wonder if I can make it down this side. Oh, ouch. Oh, that's a lot tighter. All right, let's see if we can do another 30 seconds, the same as the other side. I'm gonna have to be quiet and breathe through this one because it hurts.
Oh, and that make your way up out of that? Oh, maybe you can do it a bit more stylishly than I did. <laughs> Constant professional me. Okay, let's take it into a little bit of a straddle set stretch. What I want you to do, take your legs farther apart and start to release in between. This exercise or stretch, let me shimmy back to make sure I stay in shot, is great if you have a partner to pull on your arms. You can even put your feet against each other and take it in turns. If you put a resistance band around a pole, you can pull yourself in or even have a dumbbell or something in front of you. Um, it's called a pancake stretch. It's quite good for upper hamstrings if you can tip your pelvis, your pelvis to be in line. Because what happens at the moment, you won't be able to see, but my lower back is sticking out round. It's round. If I can keep my whole back flat, then I can really get into those upper hamstrings. Ten minutes in already, guys. Okay, I'm gonna come out of that one because I've lost a stretch. I've got as far as I can get with my position. Okay, let's work on a little bit of hip flexors. Okay, this isn't my favorite hip flexor stretch, but it's the best way to get it in this position from this type of stretch. So you'll see a lot of people doing this stretch and they lean forwards. It's doing very little. Your hip flex is attached to your lower spine. So as you lean forwards, your spine goes that way as well. It does very little. What we need to do is change the position of our body. So what I want you to do, squeeze your bum cheeks, that's gonna tip your pelvis backwards. So big concave in my lower back, squeeze my bum, back's gone a bit flatter now. From there, keeping that bum squeezed, now I lean into it. Now I've pulled the back away from the hip flexors so I can actually stretch. It's not going that way together, this is staying put and this is pulling against it. Keep squeezing that butt. Okay, let's progress it. If you can bring your hands down to here, brilliant. You're not gonna be able to squeeze the bum quite the same anymore, don't panic. The stretch emphasis is probably gonna change the underneath of the other leg, the hamstring. If you can come down onto forearms, even better. Okay, I've actually lost the stretch here, I'm as deep as I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna hold it for you guys for a little bit longer, because I'm sure some of you are probably tight in this area. Don't say I never do anything for you. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds, and then we'll be at the 13 minute mark. Okay, start to make your way out of that stretch, back to the hip flexor position, then what we're gonna do, straighten the leg out in front. Okay, now this is for you to feel where is tight for you. I'm gonna bring the hands down and I'm just gonna lean over. I'm gonna walk over. I'm hyper mobile in my knees, so you'll actually see in a lot of my positions, I don't lock my legs back, because I actually have an extra 15 degrees, so my leg actually goes down like that, it's not ideal. Oh, there goes my hip, just popped.
10 more seconds here. Yeah, if you want to pause the video and spend longer on a stretch because it feels good for you, great. Okay, swapping from the sides, back to hip flexor stretch. Right foot out this time, or left if you do the opposite way around. Squeeze this bum cheek, left bum cheek, or the one with the leg that's behind. Squeeze it tight, then lean forwards. If you've got something to lean on, by all means use it. This is actually my foldable squat rack. This is the best thing in my garage. I have a little single garage. The camera's put right at the other end, which isn't far, uh, so I can fit in. Uh, basically, this just folds out, and it, you can put your squat rack on it. It's got a pull-up bar on it as well. It's wicked. It's the best thing in my garage. I think it's about 400 quid. I got from Wolverson. Um, if you've got a single garage, this is the thing for you because you can fold it away and get so much more room. Okay, lovely, it's progressed that. Down to the hands if you can. Let me just move my phone because my mic's attached to that. It's going to shoot off in the air. If you can come down to the forearms, even better. Then come back up. We're going to start to really lean that leg forwards and see how far we can get comfortably down. Two points to notice, actually. If you haven't seen our podcast yet, TLM Radio, it's on Spotify and it's on iTunes. It actually went to number one on iTunes uh, by the third episode, which is really cool. And loads of people are really enjoying it. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. And on another note, October the 6th to the 11th, we're going to be running our retreat at, at T3 Top Training in Tenerife. Um, a bit of a holiday retreat. Uh, Zach's going to be coming and hosting it with us, so there's going to be some CrossFit stuff there. You don't have to do CrossFit to come. There's going to be some swimming. There's also going to be a bit of a holiday. There's going to be a middle day in the middle where we all just go to the um, to the water park, which is meant to be amazing. And there'll probably be a few beers on at least one of the nights as well. <laughs> it's all about balance. Okay, last couple of stretches, 15 seconds in here. Okay, swing that leg back from this kneeling position, put your hands down, and all you can do is stretch your calf. So what I want you to do is I want you to keep your heels on the floor, if you can, and push back in. I would, six months ago, I would have never felt this stretch. But now that my calves have got so tight, it might be hamstrings for some people, it's quite, I can certainly feel it, it's a bit that way. There's a couple more stretches I want to do, so I reckon we'll be about 23, 24 minutes by the time we're done, guys. From there, I want you to step your right leg in and through, just like that, 90 degrees, come down to a glute stretch. If this is giving you torque in your knee and it feels uncomfortable, what I want you to do is bring your heel closer to your groin. That puts less torque on the knee. It'll be more of a piriformis stretch. If you start to bring it around like this, it's more of a glute stretch of your bum muscles. So I'm gonna bring it around at something like 90 degrees, keep my bum on the floor, and I'm gonna lean over towards the foot. That's quite important. Leaning over towards the foot is where you start to really feel the stretch.
my camera just ran out of batteries if you're wondering what happened there. Okay, let's swap sides. This is my tighter side for sure. Oh yeah, much tighter. I haven't even got my bum right to the floor on this side yet. So you'll notice that one side's tight than the other, particularly in a, in a, um, in a stretch like this you'll notice that if you cross one leg over when you're sitting down, it's normally one side. And you can probably do that side without using your hands to pull it up. I bet the other side you can't. It's quite, it's quite common. Again, explore this one if you can go further into it. Be my guest. good okay last stretch my least favorite stretch on the planet it's the full saddle I think that's what it's called I said that every time anyway so feet underneath start to lean yourself back Literally, as soon as I come out of that, I was out of it. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, all right, I just regained myself. There you go, guys, I hope that one helped you. If you wanna see more of these videos, like I said, please do leave me a comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you haven't, subscribed. there's gonna be plenty more videos coming very shortly. Um, like I said earlier, retreats happen in October 6th to 11th. There'll be more uh, information about that all over our Instagram, uh, or our Twitter, our Facebook, and on here very shortly. And don't forget to check out our podcast. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, bye-bye.